am here at CES 2024 in the SK Hynix Special Suite for special people. I'm here with Wang Su. He is someone special. <laughs> he is with the HBM team. But enough about me, right? Don't, don't look at the scarf. Let's talk about <laughs> Wang Su. Tell me about yourself. Why are you here? Yeah. I'm Wang Su Kim, the team leader of HBM Enabling, SK Hynix HBM Business. Wait, team leader? So yeah. I'm with an important person. <laughs> so our team's uh, main job is to create the uh, business opportunity for HBM and also discuss uh, HBM related topics mm -hmm. uh, from both uh, just uh, technical and the business perspective. Yeah. Now, honestly, I did not know what HBM stood for, high bandwidth memory, and then I find out, wait, it's important to AI. Now, mm -hmm. I use AI a lot, but why is HBM important to AI? What's SK Hynix doing with yeah. HBM and AI, artificial intelligence? Mm. You know, today you, you, you can probably, uh, probably see a whole like a CES event mm -hmm. this year. So AI is not just technical items. It's very uh, close to our life. Oh, I mean, yeah. uh, regarding like a, mm, the service and application right. whole. All the TVs I saw today had mm -hmm. AI. It yes. doesn't matter what company, from Korea, US, mm -hmm. Japan, mm -hmm. China, AI, AI, that's you guys. Yes, so AI needs uh, like a lot of data. Mm -hmm. So True. also very fast data. A lot of data, yeah. training data. The amount mm -hmm. of data. Mm -hmm. So HBM is, is an indispensable memory solution for AI, for right. sure, yeah. And so obviously indispensable for AI, then that tells me you have to have something special because mm -hmm. there are a lot of companies that do HBM. Mm -hmm. What are the special features of SK Hynix HBM? HBM, you know, has uh, like two main features. The first one is the, we stack like uh, multiple DRAM dies mm -hmm. uh, in uh, one HBM. Okay. And second thing is uh, we can uh, offer like high bandwidth. So okay. that's why we can call high bandwidth memory is HBM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like this is high performance. We are in your fifth generation, mm -hmm. HBM 3E. E, yes. And why is that special? Well, uh, HBM 3E is the, the newest HBM. So it can provide uh, more than 9.2 gigabps as a pin speed. It means uh, one is point. Is that fast? Yeah, so fast. So fast. <laughs> and also, uh, bandwidth perspective, it's a 1 .1, more than 1.18 terabyte per sec. Wow. Yes. Okay. I heard so many impressive things about HBM high speed, fifth generation, 3E. Mm -hmm. It sounds like SK Hynix is a winner. Mm -hmm. Are you the leader in HBM? In the world, where is SK Hynix? Mm. The best? I believe that SK Hynix leads the HBM industry, I think. So you are the best? I you think so. think so. <laughs> it sounds really impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there is too many, I mean, uh, like a t uh, performance perspective or so, mm -hmm. like a large scale production. You know what? Mm -hmm. So that's so important. You build a good product, mm -hmm. but you have to build a lot of it. Yes. If you build a good one, but there's only this many, mm -hmm. what's the point? So your production is yes. scalable. Scalable. So, and also it creates, you know, virtuous uh, cycle. I mean, very positive cycle. Virtuous cycle, positive cycle. It sounds great. What, mm -hmm. what does that mean to SK Hynix? Yeah, it means, uh, you know, previous uh, large scale production experience, it effect to, you know, the, the next generation HBM development. So we're on fifth generation, mm -hmm. so they keep on affecting virtuous cycle. Mm -hmm. You're five times better today. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Wow, so I am here with the leader of the leader in HBM, SK Hynix. What a privilege it is. Thank you so much, Wang Su. I learned so much about HBM, AI, and SK Hynix. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure.